What effect, if any, will his turning himself in, especially in a dramatic fashion like this, have on the case that you gentlemen are uh, concerned with upstairs? Well, we hope it won't have any effect at all. It's an unrelated case, uh, unrelated events, and he's unrelated to the factual and legal matters in the case presently on trial. Uh -huh. uh, he's not unrelated to the defendants. Uh, he was a friend and close personal acquaintance. Uh, everyone knows that. But he's not connected with our, offense, our defense yeah. or... I've been covering court cases for 25 years in this town. I've covered a lot of crazy ones, but nothing like this. What else new can happen in this one, Paul? I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's 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 an emotionally draining and fatiguing case. Uh, uh, I I get up in the morning and I ask myself what's going to happen today. It's been so bizarre, uh, and 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 actually, although I know a number of people think. To the contrary, the attorneys in this case have made every attempt to make it into an ordinary conservative uh, lawsuit and try it solely on the basis of the facts uh, and the circumstances the prosecution had presented in their case, but it's just been impossible. Well, I think that's an intellectual possibility. Uh, the emotional reality to me is that he's, 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 he's simply isolated in some remote area up there, but that he's really all right. Uh, I certainly hope so. And, and the sheriff of Los Angeles has been very, very helpful. They, they sent a search party up there, uh, and they went through considerable efforts to make every attempt to find him, and I certainly hope they will, and I want to thank them very much. How much longer can uh, the events upstairs be stymied before the judge has to take some kind of action, and is there a chance for mistrial in this? Do either of you know? There's a chance for a mistrial, and I would say that uh, this the case isn't going to be forestalled much more than seven calendar days. Uh, at that point, we're, we're going to have to proceed. If you proceed, what can it be, the judge appointing another attorney uh, for Ms. Van Houten, or will he simply declare a mistrial, or what will happen? Well, there are a number of alternatives. He can declare a mistrial, in which case she'd be tried all over again in front of a new jury from the very beginning. Uh, alternative number two, I, I imagine, is to... Uh, substitute in an attorney of her own choosing. Uh, however, that presents al some almost insurmountable problems for an attorney coming in at this late date. Thirdly, I suppose uh, the court could uh, appoint an attorney in the event she didn't have funds to employ her own counsel. And I suppose, uh, fourthly, she could represent herself uh, and continue. Uh, I think that last possibility is not much of a possibility, in as much as that motion's already been made and denied. Uh, uh, on, on the other hand, uh, there are, there, are, there are some tremendous problems in an attorney coming in at this late date and having to review all the testimony and not being faced with the witnesses, et cetera. Day, is there anything you want to add to what uh, Paul and you have already said? No, I don't think I have anything to add. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, very Thank much. You. Oh. Since you're a, a close friend of Ron Hughes, the mysteriously missing attorney, you must by this time be really worried. Yes, I really am. I don't think that Mr. Hughes would have uh, gone off out of Los Angeles and not notified someone unless he were uh, in some kind of trouble or couldn't reach a phone. What kind of trouble do you envision that he might be involved in? Well, the only thing I can think of is that he's probably uh, in nature somewhere where he can't get to a telephone and stranded. Well, you don't foresee any foul play or anything? Well, I don't think there's any cause for that at this time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, it's possible, but uh, I don't see any evidence of it. When was the last time you saw Ron, and what did he tell you at that time about being in town or out of town? Uh, I saw him a week ago Friday, uh, the last day of the court session, and we had dinner together, and I told him at that time, he told me at that time that uh, he was considering going to Sespe Hot Springs, and uh, I told him at the time that I thought with the weather conditions the way they were that it might not be too good an idea mm -hmm. because uh, the stream crosses the road up there and during the rainy season it gets uh, pretty <laughs> wet. Uh -huh. Now is there anyone else uh, whom he might likely have left a message with or might have contacted since he's been gone? Well I've checked with uh, some of his friends and I haven't found any evidence of any messages. I found one message that was uh, dated last Wednesday night which evidently was on the door since that time. And uh, that's the only one that I've come across. A message that he left? No, a message that someone left for him. Oh, I see. OK, uh, what do you uh, think will happen by tomorrow or the next day if he's not 
uh, with, with us. regard to the trial, you mean? Yes. Well, I could only uh, make an assumption there that wouldn't really be valid since I don't know, you know what the judge is going to do. I would assume the judge will either appoint another attorney or sever Leslie Van Houten from the case. Mm -hmm. What's your full name? Michael Green. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. You're welcome. Who, man? Who? Who would you Do you have anything to say to Charlie? Are you talking about Charles? Do you have anything to say to Charlie? <laughs> I can't say that. It's Charlie. Why? What do you mean you can't say that? Charlie? <laughs> well, are you... Huh? It's me, huh? Are you coming back here for Charlie Manson? Do you feel like you're helping him in some way? Well, they want to kill bodies, don't they? Is that what they're after? But how can you help by coming back now? Well, can you give us a... Uh... You're... You're giving up for what? Why have you decided to come back now? What can it's you... time. Yeah, but why? Why is it time why? now? Give the answer. What, what are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to put myself here for right now. But how can you help Charles Manson or anybody else? We're all together. We're just going to say what's true. What is true? Don't look to me. Tell you the truth. <laughs> Bruce, you have anything to say generally? Generally, yeah. What's being done in exchange for you giving yourself up? Whatever's being done. Do you know what's being done? Have, have any deals been made? And if so, what are they? Well, some people were supposed to be cut loose. Who? Who, who are they? Who? Mary Bruner, for one. What, what is the deal? How about Nancy Pittman? Is she being kicked loose, too? Are you going to testify at all during this current case of trial? Do you plan to, Bruce, in exchange for Brenda's release? Mr. Mr. Chin. What, what do you plan? Do you have anything at all right now? We just want to know what it is that you feel that you can do now for Charlie Manson or for anybody by coming back now. What do you feel it? What arrangement have you made to bring him in? What can you say? What's been promised? Well, as far as I know, nothing has been promised. The girls, uh, the girls negotiated, and the girls had it brought in. Important that you showed up at this time. Has been any kind of arrangement made at all? That I don't know. Of. Why was it? Why did? Why was it decided in his best interest to bring him in, for him well, to come in, surrender voluntarily? Well, that I don't know. You know that you'll be facing uh, murder charges. <laughs> Is that all? But you do know that. Well, who is it? Well, they're, they're putting murder charges on everybody. Are you guilty of murder? Are you guilty of murder? Who well, asked the question? Yeah, I'd like an answer. Well, it's in you. Well, don't look to me for your answer. Well, you're going to have to defend yourself in court sooner or later. What will your answer be there? When you're arraigned, will you plead guilty or not guilty? Oh. Guilty? Oh. That's your guilt. Uh, that's the guilt of who would want me to, whoever says it. Who is it that you, you feel that you are helping or releasing or cutting loose by coming back? Coming back. Well, coming to here, coming to this corner today. What, who are you cutting loose by coming here? You, you use that word, cutting loose. I understand you got married in Las Vegas a couple of three months ago. Is that correct? Charlie, is that right? For Charlie, I could, I'm doing it for me, man. But what, what are you gaining out of it? What are you I'm just getting to do it. You're getting to do what? To do what I do. Which is what? Which is whatever I do, man. You just have to watch. Where do you go from here? 